riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. Good morning, and welcome from the Hershey RV show here in Hershey, Hershey, Pennsylvania. I'm just gonna go pick up my badge real quick, and then uh, we'll. We'll see the show. Got my batch. Uh, let's begin at the giant center, which is the one thing that is uh, different here. It's a huge arena where they have all the vendors. And then we'll come out here and, and see some of the RVs. We are at the giant center. See what they have down there. Well, the good thing is it's not very busy yet. Hello. Same as in the other show, they have the the pop-up camping world uh, store here, which is pretty cool. Actually, it was in one of these that I bought my map that I have inside the mini tini. And here we have more. More vendors. All kinds of stuff. I do believe they're still kind of setting up. Well, Carefree RV Resorts. They have a wine guard antennas. And here's a Max Air. At some point, I have to get me one of these so, um, so I can have the fantastic vent on while. Uh, but it's raining. We have fifth wheel hitches. Okay. Oh, this, this are the, these are the better ones, right? <laughs> Hello there. Here we have the massage machine. We have all kinds of stuff here at the RV show. Hello there. And the uh, Rat Power Bikes, they used to be my sponsor, remember? Here we have Good Sam, Good Sam Club. It's always good. Hello there. Good Sam. Good Sam. If you if you want to get discounts on gas and you know, and different, uh, you know, camping. Yeah, this is this is one of the best uh, grills. That's the one I have. Mine is black though, so pretty cool. Let's see what else they have. We are back at Camping World, and I guess Gander Outdoors is part of them now too. Let's see what else. Oh, it's this is it. This is the end. More hitches here. Maybe we'll come. Maybe we'll come back later and and see more. Let's let's go see some RVs now because that's what we came here for, right? It is a lot quieter than I guess than I expected. I expected to see more people here, but it's early. I guess it'll get busier later. Oh, this is a good exercise. Now let's go see some RVs, as I said. Ooh, there's more stuff this way. Aldi, the European, uh, the German heater manufacturer. Swedish. Oh, Swedish. I'm sorry, it's Swedish. My mistake. I always thought it was. That's the the water, the, the heater system that they have on the road tracks and some of the some of the air streams. And uh, the only thing is, it has to be in, in, from installed from the ground up. You know, you cannot you cannot do it aftermarket like with Truma Aquago, which is the one that I have in in Mini Tini the trailer. Actually, this is not. This is the combi unit that 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 it's in, the, in, the in, the, in the Travados, right? Yeah. That, that's a, and it's water heater and uh, and also furnace, right? It's, it yes. does both both jobs. Yeah. yeah eventually, I'll get me one with this one, which is even better. All right. Let's, let's see what else we have here. All the all the food vendors are still closed, and I didn't have breakfast, so I'm I'm getting kind of hungry, but. Let's see what else, what else is there? We have the state of Virginia here, which I haven't camped in yet, but one of these days. My floating bar. Now that's a great idea. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Let's see what else we have here. 
Spot your feet with alpaca. Camera solutions for your vehicles. Eventually, eventually I have to retrofit Mini Tini with a security camera system and see, maybe maybe I'll come back later and ask him what kind of deals he has, you know. And this is his Sun RV resort, you know, all the all the major chains are represented here. Porta body. It's a, it's a, yeah, I've seen those. It's, a, it's like a portable folding boat. Yeah. So they have all kinds of strong suction cups here. This one is cool. It'll hold an antenna. And here we have Micro Air, and as you all know, I recently installed uh, uh, an easy start on my travel trailer. Well, I'm here with the guys at Micro Air. Uh, can you introduce yourselves? Yes, hi, this is Matteo Giovanetti from Micro Air. Russ Bozinski from Micro Air. Uh, Andy Spaziani from Micro Air. And, uh, and as, you, as, as, you, as you all know, because you follow my videos, uh, a couple of months ago I installed uh, the easy start, and it's working out so great, in fact, Without the easy start, I wouldn't have been able to boondock uh, that night that I boondocked at the Firestone parking lot because I, I, you know, it was hot. It was in North Carolina. It was still kind of warm, and I was able to run the AC. So great, guys. Check them out. And, uh, and uh, I'll put a link somewhere in the description. And uh, I believe my code is MyRV. Yes. If you, if you, uh, if you uh, check out the type of MyRV, you, know, you get a discount, and I get a little bit of a commission. So it's a win-win situation for all of us. So there you go. Micro Air. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right, let's continue here. We have uh, and here we have Techno RV. Hello there. <laughs> okay, here we are with Eric Johnson and his company's Techno RV. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and, uh, yep. and what you do? First, it's always good to see Rob coming by the shows good and to see uh, you guys seeing, too. seeing you in uh, Tampa, I guess, a few times, and now we yeah. get to see you in Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, so Techno RV, we're an online store, technorv.com, and we sell technology products for RVers. So uh, Wi-Fi boosters, cell boosters, tire pressure monitoring, uh, surge protection, GPSs, things like that. Our, really our big thing is educating customers, so we've got a lot of information on our website about uh, about the products and then once somebody buys from us we pretty much write our own instruction guides because a lot of times you can you, know, you get these little instruction guides they're hard to understand so we like to make sure our customers are taken care of so we'll make videos and write instructions for them kind of send that to them after the sale and then we're always available for support and we like to come to shows we do about i don't know maybe 10 to 12 shows a year and uh so the hershey show is kind of where we finish our year out yeah so it's always a good way to end, end the end the year and this is Tammy. Oh, yeah Tommy oh, just arrived right. hello there <laughs> <laughs> oh no come on in so this uh so so tammy uh tammy and eric johnson you know, obviously we own the business so uh yeah yeah, it's good to be here. Good to see all of your viewers too. <laughs> Great to see. You. And I'll put a link in the description of the video, of course, uh, to, to their website. And yep. uh, and uh, it's it's great to see you guys again. And then and, uh, yeah, and, uh, it's good to be see here. you soon down the road. I'm sure. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll be pro I'll probably be at the Tampa show next year. Yeah, so. we'll be there. Yeah. Too. Oh yeah, we'll be there. Well, we don't miss that one. <laughs> all, right. all right, see you on the road. Oh, Always right. great to chat with these guys and uh, and the folks from Micro Air got me some IPAs. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> And uh, I would like to thank Kevin Carlin for, for hooking me up with that. And I think I've gone all the way around now, so let's, uh, let's see the rest of the show. Some coffee, and now we have the energy to continue. The Cummings people here. Well, here we've got Pleasure Way. Pleasure Way, of course, one of my favorite uh, brands of Class B and B Plus RVs. As you can see, it's already getting crowded here at the RV show. Here's the Lexor TS. Normally 125 and today 113. Let's check it out. I think we saw this one at the Tampa show. If I recall correctly, this here. It's a closet. And here we have the wet bath. This is of course built on the Ram Pro Master. We're familiar with that. That's very similar to what I drove in Europe, which was a, uh, a Fiat Ducato. And here, pretty decent uh, size sink. And uh, 
Cool. Some of my favorite are this plateau wide body models. That's it. Hey, let's see what this one is. This is the XLTS. I believe this is my favorite. As you can see, yeah, this one we saw at the Tampa show. It has the little table there and it has a table that lifts up on this side. This is of course on the on the Mercedes the chassis here. We have a pretty decently sized dry bath. Check out, check out that shower. Actually, let me step inside. Uh, this is perfect. I have elbow room. Check out that headroom. It's perfect. The shower, you know, it doesn't. I really like this unit. This is like top five of my favorite units. It's, you know, something that I would get. Here we have the kitchen, very, pretty decently sized uh, sink, of course. And back here, this, is, this whole area becomes a bed, although. We would probably just use that bed back there and then use this area as a work area. I don't know. It is something that we have to work on because obviously here there's no room for someone to sit. But this is just a closet. So if we got this unit, we will probably remove this closet and store our, our apparel somewhere else and then have this here as a work area and this here as our bedroom work out here's storage up here anyway so we don't really need that closet and over here you know attention to detail his and hers um, and you know to put your electronics back here there's even more store I don't know if you can store stuff down there but maybe and um, and down there you have your USB uh, power uh, USB and regular power on both his and hers so that is uh, perfect to charge our electronics Of course, uh, these RVs come with the with the multiplex lighting. So if you wanna turn off the lights, it's just that easy. Very cool. That's the the Norcold the refrigerator. No, it's domestic. I'm sorry. I, it's a domestic. Uh, is it two way or three ways? It's, it's, it is three way domestic. Fairly large. So that's good. And we have Blu-ray. That's great because most of them come with DVD. This one comes with the Blu-ray already, which, I mean, we all watch Netflix, but sometimes we have that movie that, you know, we want to watch on Blu-ray. This is, of course, on the Sprinter chassis. Very nice. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. And this is, of course, the Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS. As, as he was mentioning, he didn't feel comfortable on camera, but as he was mentioning it, uh, the, this that particular XLTS uh, has an upgraded uh, cabinetry, so it's more residential, and it's gonna be like like five thousand more uh, compared to the regular XLTS. But definitely, that's that's on the wish list for sure. Yeah, this unit here is a Murphy bed. If you're into that, okay. Here's something interesting. Here we have Earth Smart lithium battery, and that's something that. Every RV nowadays should have lithium batteries. Okay, we'll go inside in a little bit, but this is almost like a mini version of that XLTS that we saw. Of course, this is a proper Class B, but it's still a, a ProMaster chassis, so it's a little wider than the than the Sprinter. Let's take a look at it real quick here, because there's a lot of people waiting to see this one. Here we have the wet bath, but it's a it's pretty sizable one. If you, as you can see, the same large sink propane stove here's a convection microwave the same uh, domestic refrigerator was on the XLTS and back here is a very similar deal as I call this the, X the XLTS mini because you have the bed here and then um, let me show you let me show you we fit east west or north north south I don't know exactly how they call it so that's it's perfect I fit completely back here in this sofa and that's the deal maker for this Pro Master chassis instead of the of the Sprinter, where it's just a couple of inches too 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 narrow. Okay, let's get out of here. A lot of people are waiting to see this one, and unfortunately, this time around, as as you probably tell if you follow my channel, my time here is a little limited. So I'm basically only showing you the stuff that I really want to see, and so you get my point. If 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 you want to to see something different, just comment uh, on the on the video and. Uh, and I'll make sure that I, I show you those on the next. For example, Phoenix Cruiser, I like them a lot. There's our road trek and Heimer here, as you know. Uh, Heimer from Germany uh, bought road trek uh, recently. And um, 
and here's uh, the road trekkers. Uh, check out who I bumped into here, Mike and, and Jennifer Wendland of uh, the, 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 the RV Lifestyle podcast and the RV Lifestyle YouTube channel. Yeah. And uh, it's great to meet you guys. Oh, it's great to be with you, Robert. Uh, you see, we have all we're traveling here and dodging hurricanes, but this is the big show. This yeah. is a good one. Exactly. Have you, see, have you seen anything anything new? Anything new like, and exciting well, with really road trek or anything else? I'm liking that uh, new Fastback Jeep, that uh, Jeep with the uh, camper on top. It's just oh, down really? the way here. It's awesome. you got to go look at that. Well, I'm going to look at that. That's yeah. really cool. Uh, you know, it just this is the this is when everybody presents their 2019, mm -hmm. 2020 models. They all yeah. come at different times, and so I mean, every place you look, there's something new, and uh, you can see it all yeah, in one that's place. That's why I came here. I usually go to the Tampa show, but it's my first time here, and yeah, so. Tampa says it's the biggest, but these these people. They've got the name. The so. jury's out. Yeah. It's still yeah. on that one, but yeah. uh, it's great to see you guys. It's great to see you, man. Great, see you down great the road. to meet you. Nice yeah. Yeah. And we got the Eco Trek system that they do on there. They have on there. And this, and this here are the the Simplicity SRT. So from Road Trek, and I do believe I've ha I haven't seen the, the Simplicity. So this one is seventy thousand at the show. Of course, it's eighty-two normally. And let me just walk in here real quick to show you how, what it looks like. And you have the, the sofa bed back here, the closet, and then all, all this, of course, turns into a big bed, sink, counter extension, very important. And we have the, I don't want to break anything, here we go. We have a small, a small wet bath. And this is, of course, on the Pro Master uh, chassis, which I was very dismissive at the beginning, but now I, I like it a lot. This one, of course, is powered by Ecotrek, and here we have the induction cooked up. And this is uh, uh, probably an all-electric unit. As you see, you have the Nord Cold, uh, and this is probably compressor-based. Yeah, definitely compressor. So this is an, an all-electric unit. I'm gonna I'm gonna get all the specs now, but this is the. It's, it's a Zion. It's, it's on the on the Pro Master chassis as well. Let me see what they have here. It's uh, it's 119 at the show 101, and um, there it has 182 amp hours of AGM batteries. I'm surprised it is not uh, lithium, but I guess the, the, that that would increase the price uh, quite a bit. So um, 182 is quite a bit. Yeah, let's see what this is. This is called the the Euretro, and this is probably one of those uh, European imports. But I'm not <laughs> sure exactly. It's the it's a 2019 Arriba Retro MSRP 34 to at the show 29900, so 30 grand. And let me see if I can show you inside here in a few seconds. Yeah. Okay, this is it, and uh, and it does have gray and and fresh water tanks here. It has a, a dinette here in the front, and let me let me set my bag here. Don't let me forget it. And here we have all the. He has a, the Truma Combi, of course. This is very very much European, as you can see the roof. It's 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 a little like a pop-up. It, 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 it's it really? sits lower and then it goes higher, almost a, an extra foot. It has a wet bath with a cassette toilet, and uh, and back here, very nice. Looks like a queen size uh, bed, storage underneath. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a little bit on the minimalist side, but it's it's, it's a very much European style uh, trailer. It's pretty good, and this is probably very light. I'm gonna ask the guy now how much is the the dry weight on this on this unit right here. Okay, 2,480 pounds uh, dry weight, which is it's very light. You could tow this with almost any SUV, which is good. And that's what it looks like on the outside. It has that pop-up uh, roof. The infamous cafe. We're here at Heartland RV, and let's see. This one is sold already. Let's see. Let's, let's go into one that doesn't have too many people inside. Although at this point, uh, the RV show that's going to be nearly impossible, but we'll try. Let's check this one out. Show price 119, regular 164. Let's just give you an idea what it looks like in here. Oh, this is luxury, guys. Look at this. <laughs> you got residential refrigerator. Nice uh, two burner, three burner stove there. Great island, great uh, sink there. Huge TV that's gotta be at least a, a 60 inch probably. And 
you know, if, if this is uh, your style, definitely. Check it out. This is probably a half bath here in the front. No, yes, yes it is a half bath with a, with a pretty substantial um, closet there. This is probably, yeah, washer and dryer. No. No, that's all your controls there, of course. And let's see what we have back here in the, in the cab over area. This is a huge king size bed. Uh, another TV. Your drawers. Ceramic, of course. China, China toilet. This is a pretty big uh, shower here. This is residential, totally. If I fit with the camera and everything in here. And back here, of course, we have a walk-in closet, which is big. I don't see a washer and dryer, but other than that, this is very, very complete. Some more info here. This is mobile suite. Model 39 DBR S3, and as Mike was saying uh, here at the at the Hershey Arby show, you get to see all the brand new uh, 2019 models, which which is really cool. More stuff, more antennas, more sewer hoses, and all kinds of stuff. This is camping, yeah? campers in class C Integras, huh? the quest 24k it's an integra here where you, ha you have one slide out for the dinette one in the in the back for the for the living room and check it out it's of course on the on the sprinter chassis here that this is the dinette on the slide out you have a bed up here so it's a proper class C nice deep sink two burner stove and here we probably have a very spacious, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it is ceramic, ceramic toilet. Integra wouldn't do it any other way. I kind of wish this was a fantastic vent as well as, you know, like this one, but this is mollish sink here. And then you have this quasi walk around bed here in the back. I say quasi because, yeah, you know what I mean. And hers closet there's no his closet although there's a there is a larger closet here on this area so I guess that makes up for that three-way Norcold standard stuff and uh, I'm gonna find out if this is as uh, anything special when it comes to batteries and stuff like that by the way that's the TV if there was a sofa here, I would say that that's the perfect location for a TV, but being a dinette, I don't know if I want to crank my head, you know, to watch TV. Okay, and this one is, this one is the Quest 24L and it has a whole side slide out. Let's check it out. Okay, this is nice. It has a U-shaped dinette here. And then the TV is in a pretty good location because you can sit there and, and watch TV. Same large sink as the other one, same uh, stove. But it looks a lot more spacious because it has this, this whole side of the rig. This whole side of the rig is a slide. And then that's the bed in there. The bathroom here on the, on the passenger side. It's, it's fairly large. Otherwise, very similar to the other one. You have. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's check this one out. This one show price, hundred grand. And uh, let's see what this is. This is the Esteem 29V, which makes me think it's about 30 feet long. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the bed here in the front with it, with a TV. And this is very, very, uh, very spacious with the slide out. Of course, you have a, a very large slide here on this side. Lots of counter space, which is always good to prep your food. That's the one thing I miss uh, at Minitini sometimes. Very nice, large fridge there. And you have a, uh, that, that's a convection microwave, by the way. You have a very large here, two door, nor called a three way, or is it it's either three way or two way refrigerator? It's a, it is absorption style for sure. 
here's a very large let me let me walk inside and I'm with this bag which is a little bit of an impediment but yeah it's this is a large person would fit here definitely lots of headroom I'm 5'10 and I have like there's like another foot at least okay back here we have another small slide here on the on the bed but it makes me think that with the slide in this will still become usable except for these two drawers so that's a good thing if you have to, to stop at a Walmart for the night and you know that's a good thing okay this is not bad it's a, it's, a, it's a, one of the larger class C's but I like it it's the one that uh, Mike Wendland was talking about and this is really cool because you can have a Jeep and then you have a tent on top of your Jeep it's interesting. American fast bags, and uh, it is a certified RV, by the way. And let me let me show you up here real quick, and then I'm gonna show you inside. Safety, do not pull. Okay, it slips too in, in this tent up here, which is very cool. And then inside, let me see if I can show you around here. This is what's inside. It's a full kitchen here. And it does have a, a, a domestic or a Coletron uh, refrigerator in the back. Oh, it has the, even the, the step that comes out. Otherwise, a regular Jeep inside, but it's a really cool concept. It, 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 I mean, I would, I would love to, to take the RV off road and be able to. So let me see. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes it is. Uh, here we have it. I guess this kitchenette, this whole kitchenette area comes and sits here in the back. De definitely, definitely a, a very cool idea if you are the adventurous type. Let me tell you, I would love to get one of these off-road and and that's what it looks like with the tent uh, collapsed. Very cool. Yes. All right, let's continue. So one of these last year at the Tampa show, but let me, let's see what it looks like. It's a truck camper by Cyrus. It's the new camp. Yeah, we did see these ones. And uh, let me see if I have, if I can get some information. Backup camera, pretty cool. There's your bed area, lots of windows, which is really cool. His and hers closets, lots of storage down here. And you have your USB, his and hers USBs, and his and her lamps, and his and hers power outlets as well. And here you have uh, some sort of dinette area. This is a, a three burner kitchen with the with the sink and here we have a it's a it's a that looks like a cassette toilet by the way you have the cassette toilet down there but I guess this moves out of the way and then you have a shower like so and then well, I don't know exactly how it works you had the fantastic vent on the on the top on the top all right we have people waiting in line, so let's continue. So let's check out Wanabago here and let's see the, the evolution of the Micro Mini. Oh, it does. This is a mini drop. Okay, this is probably um, the newer version of the 1706 FB, which is the one that I have. I have a 2015 model. This is the 2019, brand new. Let's see what it looks like inside. It's very similar. Of course, everything is very familiar. They went back to the straight, you know, uh, for a couple of years, they, they made this like a slanted cabinet. They went back to the straight model. It has an insignia TV here. Same. It's basically the same. A little bit of, of uh, an up upgraded sink and shower and that stuff. But otherwise, and they had the domestic, you know, the 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 two door refrigerator, which ours only has one door. It's a larger, it's a larger freezer. 
and it's a slightly shallower uh, sink here. Hi. 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 Let's go ahead. Past you. And, uh, and a more modern uh, radio unit. But it's about the same. Yeah. but today at the show 22209 still quite a bit more than what I pay for mine let me see what kind of water heater they're putting these days it doesn't say aside from being a little higher of the ground it is it is very similar to our unit so they haven't done too many changes oh this is the the, the storage down here seems to be a little larger too Let's see if we found find something new. Although I think it's uh, mostly uh, the, pretty much the same units. Oh, here are the Travados, and they have a bunch of new Travados. Let's check them out. This is Soul. This is a Travado 59K, of course. That's the one with the twin beds and the compressor refrigerator. And the ProMaster chassis, and there's the, there has the, the bathroom in the back. Well, now, this is the Travado 59G, which is the one that we like. 92, show price, 118 regular. I think it's gone up, gone up in price a little bit. But it's basically the same unit we've seen before. They changed the refrigerator. Here's the water tank. Here's the dinette. ProMaster chassis, of course. And a couple of years ago, they added this... Uh, this uh, counter extension and let me show you here this is a, a different refrigerator I don't, I don't want to oh, I don't want to break anything but like, oh here we go it's a Nova cool refrigerator with the with the and check it out it is compressor based it's not it's not a an absorption unit There's the, the bed, of course, the, the air conditioner, and storage up here. Of course, you have a lot of storage down here as well. And here's, uh, I don't know what this is, but it's probably your, all your equipment. And here's the, this, the pretty sizable wet bath. the Winnebago Rev that we saw last year but uh, let me show you inside because the colors are a little more subdued this time let me show you inside real quick it's exactly the same thing but it's the colors are a little more subdued of course this is the Sprinter 4x4 and this is the the bathroom that with the cassette toilet that doubles as a closet it's the same the, the bed that goes up and down so you can store a lot of stuff back here Yeah, you know, it's a nice uh, toy. It's a nice toy if you are like into off-roading and you know that kind of thing. Adventure is it's, it's a great adventure vehicle, I'm sure. Well, here we are, Airstream. Uh, let's check out the Bambi. A lot of people have asked about the Bambi, and this is the Bambi Flying Cloud 19 CB. This one is pretty cool. It has a corner bed here in the in the back. TV, two-way domestic fridge. Let's see the bathroom. Because they usually have a. Okay, this is a pretty clever solution. It's a dry bath. And then if you put it this way, I guess you have some privacy in there. But then if you wanna use the bed at night, yes, have it this way. Or you can have it that way, have more room. Here's the sink on the outside. Three burner stove. This is a very cool unit because you have a permanent bed and a permanent table. So if you have different schedules, you can both work at the same time. And uh, $60,000 for a 19 CB. Bambi. Smart control technology. I believe this is the one that uh, 
that comes with unlimited AT&T but I'm not sure let's check it out this is the, the epitome of luxury here from Airstream the 33 FB classic trailer 2019 we have a walk around bed here on the front which you are not allowed to test so do not use the bedding look at this huh? Yeah, this is the epitome of luxury. You have the range here. And uh, check out this sink. Uh, of course, all ceramic, Korean countertops. Nice convection. And we've got a projection TV. How cool is that? Right in front of the, the sofa here. This is a great unit. And this one is the one that has the, the smart technology. Closet. And the bathroom back here is super spacious. Of course, we're talking here top of the line Airstream. I'm gonna find out how much it is, but this is gonna be a pretty penny. It's huge, by the way. Very, very deep storage. And uh, short power on. It's a smallish screen for what it is. That's your projector. over the kitchen and I wanted to show you something we saw this one at the Tampa show but there's a desk here so if you are if you I'm sorry if you work you have a desk where you can have your your computer there because more and more people are, are you know digital nomads and you have to have by the way this is suggested retail price $165,000 734 so this is top of the line classic uh, airstream here is rather uh, minimalist here. Let's, go. Let's see the bathroom real quick. It's a wet bath. Of course, this is a departure for uh, for Winnebago because this one has a. This is a big closet. This is not the classic Winnebago uh, al aluminum uh, body. This is fiberglass. So that's really cool. Well, I hope it doesn't rain. We've seen the base camp before. Let's see the other nest here. And we're running out of... Who cares? Okay, this one instead of the bed has a... The dinette. Which I suppose turns into a bed. Otherwise, I think it's exactly the same as the other one we saw. It's just that they have them set up in both uh, configurations. Last but not least for Airstream, let's check out the Atlas. Uh, the Atlas is a Murphy bed unit, white, white body. Uh, this is the Tommy Bahama Relax Edition. It's on the Sprinter chassis, as I said, white body. And this one has a Murphy bed that comes down. Everybody goes back there. Here's a huge, huge shower here. So let me see if we can test it out, do the shower test. You can fit two of me here. Or there. Yeah, definitely lots of headroom if you are 6'5", you can probably fit here. It's a, it's a sliding door, ceramic toilet. And here's a very nice sink. Good materials, you know, I wouldn't expect anything less from Airstream. Okay, I'll put a link to last year's video because it is, it is basically the same as last year's. And um, now let's continue exploring Huge garage. Quick tour inside here, in between. This is Wonder RTV. We are turning back. 126 today. Curved door bathroom here. 
got the twin beds in the back. Yeah, they, they are sort of trying to imitate that uh, European floor plan. But it's not quite there yet. Otherwise, in the Ford Transit. Well, it's gotten to that point where it's uh, nearly impossible to see uh, anything in detail here. So, or to film anything for that matter. So, um, I, hope you have I hope you have enjoyed this light version of the Hershey RV show, unfortunately. Due to circumstances beyond my control, I could not come here early. The, the original plan, of course, was to be here for three days. And we were here for three hours, so... I would love to see the coach houses, but we're gonna have to wait for the Tampa show in January. <laughs>